water, the unparalleled substance of flat earth, is what covers 70% of its surface. It is an indispensable substance for carbon organisms, which thrive with its help. It separates the lands, covers them when it can no longer stay within its limits, nourishes nature and has a circuit through which it purifies itself of the dirt it cleanses after people. Then it falls clean back to earth, maintaining and giving life, without asking for anything in return. If man knew how to appreciate and understand who his mother is, who is the one who gives life and kills, who has the greatest power on this earth, who is the only being who can materialize in all three known forms, liquid, solid, gas, vapor, then he should look back at the water. Natural laws cause water to take the shape of the vessels or earth it fills. It does not bend. It cannot stand upwards. It always keeps its surface perfectly flat. The calm water is always straight. And if you look at it from panoramic points you do it even better. Never forget this law of water. No matter where she is. She seeks to find her level in absolutely every point where she is. Everyone who studied water understood that it cannot sit on a ball. That apples fall from a tree because of its weight, not because of gravity. That the earth does not revolve around the sun. But vice versa, and that everything the surrounding is water. Just as there is water down, there is water up. And these waters are separated by a dome. By a firmament that the scientific world is called Van Allen's belts. To create confusion. Are those who understood that our system is closed and governed by frequency and vibration. By the electromagnetism that emanates from the central north pole. The ones who wonder how we so easily believed in the lie of the globe? Absolutely all we know are colossal lies. As is the story of the globe. On which water, undefeated by anyone, lies bent. As you know. We live on a flat stationary earth. And in the center is an inexhaustible magnetic spring, which comes from the North Pole. Just above it is the North Star. Fixed at the highest point of a wonderful firmament, which has the shape of a crystalline dome. Under the firmament, there are different atmospheric layers located at different heights from the ground. The ionosphere begins about 48 kilometers above the Earth and is composed of the thermosphere and mesosphere. The thermosphere is an electrical atmosphere ionized by solar electromagnetism and forms the inner edge of the magnetosphere.
These tubes contain molecular gas from the atmosphere above us. This gas, or gaseous vapor, contains various substances such as helium, argon, krypton, xenon, neon and many more. When a Tesla electromagnetic coil is placed in the immediate vicinity of these gas tubes, the magnetic field of the coil ionizes or charges this coloring gas, resulting in phosphorescent plasma. This is why our sky is mostly blue. Because the electromagnetic presence of the sun ionizes the atmosphere, which becomes colored plasma. When the sun reaches the points that the false controllers call sunrise and sunset, we always see a great variety of colors, which are born due to its distance from the ionosphere above us. When the sun is no longer above our region, the sky loses its color and we can see what we call stars, which are above the sky. Although official scientists draw the ionosphere as an atmospheric layer, in reality it is an etheric layer. The ether is the tissue or element that carries electromagnetism. He interconnects, connects, absolutely everything in our kingdom. The ether is the tissue that makes possible the existence of the sun. The moon and their concentric motion above our disk earth. The ether is the mysterious binder, called the fifth element. It connects everything magnetically with the help of vibrational energy, as if gluing them together. It is the force behind everything that exists. The other four elements, water, fire, air and earth, exist due to the ether. They are the result of the vibrations of the ether. The somatic examples are the unequivocal proof of the existence of the ether. The element that allows everything to be in different forms is the ether that works when the vibration, the sound, changes its intensity. This is why we see, for example, how cut fruits and vegetables look like wonderful symbol figures. All matter is etheric, and the figure. The appearance of matter is in fact the ether in its various forms generated by vibration and frequency. The ether is the bridge between electromagnetic frequency and vibrational energy. It is the very form of matter that the Church calls the Holy Spirit. The historical and scientific truth about the ether has been deliberately manipulated, falsified, The enemy introduced the truth only to destroy it, to bury it. 
Many people in the past have written about ether. Aristotle called it the fifth element. James Clark Maxwell, the father of electromagnetism, said of the ether, with the help of a process that connects the space between them. The undulating theory of light presupposes the existence of something to be proved and the electromagnetic properties of that something, which are identical with that which transmits light. That something to which it refers in these lines is the ether. Einstein consolidated the theory of heliocentrism with the help of false schools in which they promoted scientific lies. But even he could not deny the presence of the ether. According to the theory of general relativity, space without ether is impossible. Because in that space, not only would there be no propagation of light, but no possibility of the existence of space and time, so no spatio-temporal interval in the physical sense. Even today, science admits that space and matter could not exist without ether. Today, vacuum is recognized as a rich physical environment. A general theory of vacuum, so it is a general theory of everything. A universal theory that it would be fair to call once again, the ether of vacuum. Let us return to the ionosphere above us, which is a large constant of electromagnetism. Which is responsible for the colored plasma above, which we call the sky. <laughs>